Good morning and thank you for having us here today. We are very excited to be here. My name is Elliot. My name is Lillian. And my name is Ivan. We are second graders from PS176 in Brooklyn. Our school is very lucky to have a greenhouse. We have one NFT, two tower gardens, and one VCS. We have grown a lot of produce and vegetables. Do any of you know the three most important things a plant needs to survive? You got it. Plants need food, water, and sunlight. Before we knew what hydroponics was, we always thought that plants just need soil, water, and sunlight. Boy, were we wrong. Throughout this school year, we have learned so many things, but the one thing that we always noticed in our hydroponic system was how well our plants grow and looked healthy. We always made sure that all the plants were getting the proper nutrients. And so, this is how we came up with our project to present to you. We wanted to find out if the choice of nutrients has an effect on the plant growth in our hydroponic system. In this experiment, we prepared three identical hydroponic systems and used three solutions. In one system, we used plain water. In another system, we used the hydroponic solution called MaxiGrow. In the last one, we used a commercial solution that can be found in your local stores called MiracleGrow. Our hypothesis is that plants with hydroponic system solutions and plants with other fertilizer solutions will both grow well without any noticeable difference. The plant with plain water, however, will not grow well because of the lack of nutrients. We planted kale and Swiss chard seeds in rock wool and placed them in three separate containers and labeled. We first gave each container plain water until their true leaves sprouted. Then we began to add nutrients and measured. We made sure to give the same amount of nutrients to maintain an electrical conductivity of 0 0.3. Every week we measured and took pictures to see how much our plants grew. Over the course of four weeks, we, we measured, recorded, and took pictures. Just to make sure that our findings were accurate, we used three plants for each solution. We noticed that the plants that were receiving nutrients were growing at approximately the same rate. We observed that the plants that were receiving nutrients grew an average of a quarter of an inch each week. On the other hand, the plants that were receiving just water stayed fairly the same and grew very little. They grew an average of a quarter of an inch by four weeks. Plants need nutrients to survive and dry because they are essential for their growth and development. Nutrients are the building blocks that plants need. Our hypothesis was correct as long as plants receive some kind of nutrients, they will grow. And those that do not, will not grow well. Thank you.